welcome back to the Pilates Vitamin Series where I give you a short exercise each day so you can stay organized. Today we'll be doing a little more of a functional exercise, standing. So if you need a little more balance help because this will be a balance challenge, position yourself next to a wall or a chair so that you can really hone in on the position and not feel challenged too much in your balance. Now I'll be mirroring you so you can just follow along. Step your right foot forward. The left foot can just go back behind you comfortably for right now. You're holding on if you need to. Now look at that foot. We're going to organize it up first. Heel in between big toe knuckle and pinky toe knuckle so that you're not turned out or turned in to start off with on that foot, but parallel. Now try and lift all five toes. It's okay if you have to lift the whole foot. Just keep your heel on the ground and try and place the pinky toe down first without twisting through the whole rest of your leg. The fourth toe, the third toe, the second toe, and then the first toe down. So we're creating a nice wide foot for stability. Now let's do that again. All five toes up, pinky toe, fourth toe, third toe, second toe. This is a little harder for me. My second toe wants to be closer to my third toe. So I have to work a little bit more, think a little more to get into that big toe places down. One more time. Last toe, pinky toe, fourth toe, third, second, first. Don't stress out about it. It's a hard exercise if you haven't done it before, even if you have done it before. Practice it a little bit later today when you're watching the news and feeling stressed out. It'll give you something else to look at. Okay, now stacking up on that leg, your back foot is now propped behind you and your spine is stacked head over rib cage over pelvis. Now we're gonna come down into a lunge position and I want you to now look at your knee and make sure that your knee is not in over your big toe but out over the second and third toe and you're neutral in your pelvis. My right hip really wants to hike up as I come down onto this leg but try and keep your hips neutral and then I'm not too wide. Keep holding the position while I'm talking. It's organizational. It's good for your body to get into the position. And then when we get to the exercise, you can just go. But it's worth it to take the time and organize first. So I'm not too wide with my feet. I'm just a little bit bigger than it would be if I were to take a step walking. And then uh, I'm not rounded. I'm not too arched forward. I'm just neutral over my two feet. A little support in my abdominals, but my tailbone is free. Now we're going to start little up and downs here, just to see as, as you start moving, can you keep your hips still stacked and neutral so that I'm not doing this every time I go down? Nope. I'm just keeping my pelvis in neutral. Let's do three more. Foot is wide, knee is over top of the toe. Now stepping up onto that right leg, balancing with your left leg up in the air. Did you still keep your neutral pelvis or are you hyped now on that left side? Back down into your lunge shape, take a breath. Exhale, use your right leg to step all the way up and coming back down, especially through your hip. I want you to try and use the back of your hip. Think about kind of wrapping your thigh without twisting the whole foot. Keep your foot firmly planted wide on the ground. Wrapping your thigh to step up on that right leg, all the way back down. Exhale up, that's four, I think, and the world's worst counter. Five, all the way down. Six, all the way down. Seven, all the way up, keep your gaze lifted. Exhale, stepping up for eight, down. All the way up, nine, little abdominal support. Last time for 10, hold the position. Now keep your spine stacked back over that leg so you're not forward. Your, your balance is definitely challenged in this moment. Stay here and turn out your left leg back into parallel. Nothing else moves. Your pelvis doesn't go with that leg, just the thigh. Out and in. <coughs> keep challenging your balance. And you're doing three more. Out and in. Two wide foot below you, last time. Step back on that foot and then legs together. Good, switching sides. Right foot back, left foot forward. Your, your back foot's again just resting for the time being so that we can set up this foot. 
Looking down, heel in between pinky toe and big toe. Lift all five toes, pinky toe, fourth toe, piano toes down, three, two, and one. And again, lift the toes, pinky toe, fourth, third, second, first. Last time, don't stress over it, breathe. Just through the foot to create a nice wide foot position. Take your weight on that foot, back heel is propped up, you're stacked nice and tall. Hips are organized into neutral and you come down into your lunge position. Now, did you hike your hip? Can you unhike it? Can you keep some abdominal support with your tailbone free so you're not really tucking? You're staying nice and neutral. Now, just a little up and down. Make sure you're breathing and you're tracking that knee directly over your second toe. So it doesn't go in and it doesn't go too far out. Just right over top. Two more. Stepping up on that foot. Use your hip and glute to come all the way up. Keeping neutral all the way down. Exhale all the way up, wrapping your hip around. Inhale down. Exhale three, nice and even. Inhale down. Exhale four. Inhale down, nice tall, long spine, abs supported. All the way down. Exhale six. All the way down. Exhale seven. This foot really wants to turn out as I step up, so I have to really fight for that big toe as I come all the way up. Eight, all the way down. Nine, woo, see, there it goes. <laughs> and 10, hold this one, keep your hip support, rotate the right thigh out and in. Whole pelvis does not go with it, it stays square to me, just the thigh. Good, that's four. We'll do three more. Keep standing up on that leg. Last time, come all the way down, step together. 